Is it possible for Excel to generate a random number? If I'm asking the question, the answer is obviously yes. In order to generate a random number, for whatever purposes you might need to use a random number, there is a simple straightforward function, and that is equals rand. Open brackets, close brackets, a bit like today, it doesn't require any parameters, it just calculates a random number. Return, and my number is generated. That random number is anywhere between zero and one. Now it will generate a new random number every time the spreadsheet opens or every time you tell the sheet to refresh. Now we can tell the sheet to refresh by going to formulas, calculation options, and here we have calculate sheet. You'll notice it has a keyboard shortcut of shift and F9. So every click generates a new random number or every shift and F9 generates a new random number but I don't want my random number to be between zero and one. Not a problem. All we need to do is take the random number we've been given and multiply it by an amount that we would like our random number to be between. So let's move down to A3 and say equals rand multiply by 10 and return. And we find it takes our random number and multiplies it by 10. Now this random number is different to this random number. If I were to take this little function here and copy across just as an example, you will see every cell is a different random number. So it doesn't generate a single random number per worksheet. It generates a single random number for each time you use the formula. So here we have rand times 10. So that's any value between zero and one will now be multiplied by 10. So your result will be somewhere between zero and 10. That includes all the decimal places. If you want to be a bit more restrictive and you don't want those decimal places, then we simply add in the int function that we've seen previously. So we say equals int. So I'm only interested in the whole number value of our randomly generated number between zero and one, multiply by 10. That way I will get returned a randomly generated number now between zero and 10. And we see the first one we get is one, but we run calculate a few times and we get a zero, all the other random numbers are changing at the same time. We get a four, we get a zero, we get a zero, we get a five, we get a seven, we get a five, we get a four. So each calculation will now give me a number between zero and 10. Now you can be even more restrictive using another random number generator, which is actually called rand between. So instead of being given a random number between zero and one, and then you multiply up, you can actually just say, I would like a random number between and give it a range. So between seven and 12, between three and nine, any range you like. I'd like mine to be between one and seven. And because I give it two whole numbers, the rand between result is always whole numbers. So I can only ever see from that rand between in this particular case, a whole number between one and seven. And you can see with each refresh, I get a different number in the range. Now the use of random numbers are varied and wide, but we're going to show one example now where we could randomly generate any day of the week or any month of the year, which obviously we could then make use of. So how do we randomly generate one day of the week when all we can randomly generate are numbers? Well, we join together our little random function and the VLOOKUP function. So let's start a new cell here, and I want a random day of the week. Well, luckily I have prepared in the weekday sheet, a set of weekdays and a set of months. They're also stored as named ranges. So the days is this range here, and the years is this range here. So back in here, I can say equals V lookup. Now the value I'd like to look up is a randomly generated number between one and seven. So rand between one comma seven comma the table I would like to look up in is the one called days and I'd like to return column two please which is the actual day of the week and then false because I need an exact match return and I get Saturday with each refresh I will get a different random day of the week by using the random for the number and then I do a lookup with the number and we could do exactly the same to work out a random month of the year equals v lookup so this is bringing back our v lookup skills rand between this time my random numbers are to be between 1 and 12 
comma. The table is actually the year's named range. And column two, and then false for the exact match. It must find a number between one and 12. Return, and I get August. And recalculating, you see I get a different random month, different random day of the week, as well as all these different random numbers. So that's the rand function to generate a straightforward random number. Ran between for generating random numbers between a bottom and a top value, both included in the random choices.